tired or like Super Bowl, you know, stay up late. I ate. I did stay up late. Um, I ate pizza and a few wings, and that was about it. That's good. I what ate. You... I ate nachos. Nice. And uh, what else did I eat? I ate a brownie sundae. The hell, that sounds so good. Yeah, dude, I could just go make another one right now. I have one more brownie. I'm gonna eat it. Ooh, baby. Cody, what did you eat yesterday? He's the other man. I don't even remember at this point. No. <laughs> That's legit. I have no idea. Aw, oh, man. Let's just uh, come up with the food that you ate. Gumbo. I don't know. What are you interested in? Yeah, he, he ate gumbo. Okay. Cody ate gumbo yesterday. Yeah. Cody, do you eat gumbo? You know. On a, yeah, I had it yesterday. Lobster oh. gumbo. There you go. Lobster gumbo. <laughs> yes. He's from Maine, for those who don't know. <laughs> this this joke Maine, makes even uh, littler sense without that knowledge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Again, the, more you, the more you know. This is a very special... Oh, dude, that would have been so cool if we had episode 50 this week, the same week, like the day after Super Bowl 50. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh my God. We should... Let's up, just... Guys. Let's just put guys, episode 50. This is episode 50 of yeah. the Game Bolt Podcast. <clears throat> oh, let's Stop. start over. <laughs> no. Right. But this is episode 49. We didn't plan well enough ahead. We didn't start our website one week earlier. Um, so sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I, I have a legitimate problem right now. Okay. Okay, so... Well, depending on, on what your problem is, I might have a problem, too. So I really don't know if this yes, is good Yes, this, this involves you, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Your okay. picture for the stream yes. is Bayonetta, and mine's yes. Cloud? Well, I don't know who you play. I just I thought you played Cloud. Do you play Bayonetta? Based on who we play, you know oh, I love Bayonetta, too. Oh, yeah, but I, I thought I've been playing... Okay. You love Bayonetta also, or Bayonetta 2, the game? The video game. I, both, actually. <laughs> I'm in love with Bayonetta. Okay. So I'm putting. Cody, you done goofed. I guess so. <laughs> I didn't know this. It's it's <laughs> really not good. Not good. <laughs> no, I'm changing I, it right I, now. I noticed it, so I was no. like, oh, okay. You're changing it right now. It no, I'm not much. actually. And... Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want you to. Oh. All right. Okay. So that's well, just know that I wouldn't. Guys, this is a great episode. I yeah, can tell no. it's gonna be a wild one. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Just gonna... I'm sassy, Joe. Uh, again, this is the Game Bowl Podcast. Yeah. Your official... <laughs> That's number two. Your official podcast is thegamebowl.com. Post to iTunes every Tuesday and YouTube every Wednesday. I'm going to start off with what we're playing like every week. I have to change the name from Kyle because Kyle goofed as well as Cody. Um, <laughs> Kyle was supposed to join us, but unfortunately he had technical difficulties. Um, so yeah, Cody, why don't you go first? Oh man, I don't even... Um, I've been playing Smite. That's about... All I ever play. Um, Shout out to the best game on Xbox One. <laughs> sadly, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, debatable. <laughs> oh, it's literally not debatable. Sunset Overdrive is good, but Smite is. Oh my <laughs> God! Don't you tell me that Sunset Overdrive. Listen, Grant. I convinced you every game of the year. I can convince so you. So I've been playing field. Smite lately, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's that going? It's not going good. Uh, oh I God, I I've had been so bad at my lately. Yeah, I have my days. Like I think, what was it yesterday? Did you play with us yesterday, Brent? Oh, uh, for a bit, yeah. I, think I, I don't even remember now. But I know <laughs> yesterday I I went on a tear, and then today it was just lose fest 2016. Yeah, I I win like one out of every five conquest matches at this point, just because like yeah. our team our teams are just. Not constructed well. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I feel like <clears throat> the the moment you go into that loading screen, and the enemy team has like over level five masteries on all of them, you know you're in for a bad time. Mm -hmm. and, and then you have people like uh, like, like instant Loki. locking Neath. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, instant locking Neath and yeah. calling uh Phil. Like, what? You can't yeah. do that. Yeah. The point of fail is to, you know, fill in whatever needs to be filled to help the team. Um, and then you have, like, like Loki playing mid. It's like, ah, really? Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know. It's just, well, this match is going off great. And then Loki goes off to, like, the right lane. It's like, dude, what the hell? Yeah. You called mid. Now you're screwing up all of our strategies. 
Yeah, there's a lot of Ugh. stereotypes. That one dopey mirror that doesn't know what he's doing. Blocks <laughs> friendlies. Yeah. It's rough. Yes, oh my god, yes. So, it's, uh, well, anyway, uh, we played a while question. for the... Okay. Um, is Smite is free? Yes. Yes, free to play. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Is there a far so maybe I'll download it and try it with you guys. But okay. I don't know, but that would require me thirty dollars. You can get all of the current gods available, and then you unlock future the future gods. Yeah. Do you There's have gems too? No. There's yeah. over seventy one gods right now. Man, they're coming out with two new ones. Uh, or just one. A Amater Amaterasu is out on PC, but she's she's gonna be here the twenty sixth on Xbox One. Okay. But um. Yeah, so, um... Okay, well, I might try that with you the next two weeks, because I use, like, one of those two-week Xbox Live codes. I just want I don't you to know. Data so, renew it. I just want you to know, Grant, I get a little nasty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. Yes, he does. Smite brings out the it's worst so, in me. It's it's so funny. It sucks. Get that uh, on the soundboard that I don't really even like, use like, anymore. Like, you don't share Cody, like, screaming, like, Why are you doing no. this? And he'll go, like, Yeah. Argh. Yeah. Like, Oh, like man. Hurt Soundboard, I get kind of nasty. I get kind of nasty. <laughs> I feel bad because, like, I am not a great... Uh, well, the thing is, is, like, I always say this when we play. You can be doing poorly, but if you're learning from your mistakes, that's fine. Like, you could be going 1 and 7, but as long as you you know not to, like... Like, if, if a fed raw kills you, like, three times, just know that you can't fight him on your own. That's fine, but it's when you get that one bozo who thinks that he's, you know, like, a god. <laughs> you know, yeah. sadly, that's not how it works in this game. Um, and just goes, like, 2 and 12 and then disconnects. That sucks. <laughs> that yeah, gets like... me mad. <laughs> so. Um, I, Grant, for, just like, I, I use Medusa as my main, and does I turn people to stone. She does, actually, with her yeah. ultimate move. Yes. Um, I can do a decent job at holding the middle lane, which is typically just one person. Um, it can be a 1v1, or it can be like sometimes a, a 1v2. But, um, you know, I'm she's my best character by far. And um, I, I can do a, an okay job of holding mid with her. But I just unlocked uh, Al Push, whatever it's an Al Plush. He's like a mage caster. <laughs> Close enough. And yeah. um, my first match in Conquest, I went 0 7. I was like, well. This yeah. is this is a wonderful start. I felt so bad for our team because I could just kept feeding whoever now, the hero was. The thing is dominate. though, is that match I also went sixteen and two with Wukong. And um That's true. we actually were doing okay. But uh it was just a bunch of little things that led to to our demise. But I don't know. Smite's a terrible beast. Don't if if you're it's not so in it fun, don't get in it. <laughs> It'll, it'll, yeah, I mean, it'll throw uh, you in a spiral okay. of despair. It'll make me nasty. Yeah. At this point, like, I have to be a move for it. Like, there are times when I'm like, oh, I would love to play Smite right now. But That's the thing is, I, I like, play I it when I... I should be playing Smite, but like, I don't really want to play Smite. I think that's my issue is I play it when I'm not in the mood for it, and it kills <laughs> me. Like, it just, like... I, I just get so worked up, and it just ruins it. Sounds but, like me and Rocket League, except I, I'm always in the mood for Rocket League. Yeah, there and see, go. and see, go. the thing is with that and this, is Rocket League, you know, like random stuff can happen, and you can have fun and be like, you know, like, uh, nice shot, nice shot, nice shot, and it's funny. You know what oh, I, mean? I have some pretty funny conversations with people. <laughs> yeah, but Smite is like you either have like fun time, and you're okay, or Smite is you're absolutely enraged. I, I don't know if I've ever had fun playing Smite unless it's like. Noob stomping. I've had, I've had fun. I don't but know. But one time at the at the beginning of a <laughs> yeah, good of a Rocket League match, I accidentally like typed A on the keypad like right right when the match was and starting. You did the alphabet. Then, yeah. Because <laughs> because right when I did that, someone was like A question mark, and then I was like B, B <laughs> and then just went all the way. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there's some people like because like. On Xbox One, it doesn't have like a direct chat bar. It's like set, um, like preset, uh, you know. Is the Xbox, Xbox One party system still messed up? Yes. Uh, I don't use it, so I don't really know. But you just, you just talk on Discord. Yeah, like, I remember like, back when we were trying to like play GTA and stuff. It was oh like, my god, it was a mess. Awful. 
It's like join party. It's like you're not in the party though. But um, yeah, you, you get that like, set communication. Choices. Yeah, that kind of happened when we were playing Madden too, which we'll get. Yeah, to. it's it's. But like like you can get an invite and then be in the game, but then you won't be in the game. It's <laughs> yeah, it's like well, which is it? But uh, Smite it has like like attack right lane, like uh, like help yeah. defend middle or and you get that you get yeah, you get that one idiot like. I don't know. I was going to say Mercury, because he's just that character that, you know, like... It, you gotta either, go fast. Either you're good with him, or you're really not. But you get that one dumb Mercury, and he's like, he dies, like, in a really obvious way, like, he shouldn't have died. And he just spams, thanks, 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 thanks. I was like, please. Please. Stop. And then he quits. Yeah. Yeah, dude, come so, on. But, uh, oh. so anyway, in, in lighter... Actually, no, not in lighter news. This, this is even worse, probably. Um... I've been playing Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, and uh, I want to love that game so bad. I do. It's like a love hate thing. You know what I mean? Right. It's right. like it's like when you you're with a woman, and she just like when you see her, you you love her, but she's got that nails on a chalkboard voice, but you try to look oh. past it, but every time she talks, it just annoys you. That's that's paper jam. <laughs> that's paper <Yep>. jam. <laughs> I I I, oh, I yeah. see paper jam and I'm like, this is so cool. Like my two favorite Mario things, and then I play it and it just it's like, hey, collect mini game, have fun, paper toads, great. <laughs> It's like, what is this? Yeah, it, from what I've gathered, it seems like you have uh, mixed feelings on it. It's it's so. <laughs> I want to say it's so fun. It is. Like, if you were to take away the dumb mini game filler nonsense, it means nothing. You you would have a great time. But it's just so. I don't know. It's so annoying. <laughs> like, like I said, it's like I want to have fun, and I I play it, and I have fun, and then he it talks. And that nails on the chalkboard. I, I I get a I get a paper toad quest that I have to do, and you mess up once. You let you let like one paper toad get crushed by a rock, which wouldn't even kill him because he's paper, and yeah. uh, and you lose, and serious. you have to and you have to do fit Grant. <laughs> Don't justify this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Paper beats rock. And you have to Try do to you have to do a 15 minute. Mini game over again, and it's just not fun. Oh, that sounds terrible. Yeah. It's like you know, playing game for two hours and your save like doesn't save. It's like well, that also point? happened to me. But I, it's not because I didn't save. It's because oh, well, it's because I didn't save. It's not because my save didn't work. But um, it's it's weird to me for an RPG to allow you to save wherever you want. Like normally you have yeah. like save points, so you know, like. There's a boss coming up. I better save now. I yeah. when I have my like free ability to save, it's like um I don't know if there's a boss behind this door, so I'm just going to keep going because you know, I just saved like 20 minutes ago and I'm, you know, I'm on a roll. So, yeah, and, and I don't want to save like every cuz I save so yeah. stinking often. So I got stuck oh. on a really late game boss and um he decided to have a 3 minute timer to beat him. And uh, that's not enough time. I got him like half health in in two thirty, and uh, there was no way I could out damage him. So uh, so now now this is the point where you have to grind to. Well, beat him. it's it's dumb. There's a card mechanic in the game which I kind of like, but they give you this card after you save these paper toads that you have to. Lakitu's like, hey, here's this card that I kept in my pants pocket. Uh, hopefully it helps you, and it's like, it says add five minutes to the battle counter if there is one. And never to this point, aside from Paper Toad missions, do you have a timer in a boss fight. And I'm like, this is going to be that one card that only has one use in one boss fight, and you're going to need it. Uh... So I'm like, I'm not going to put it in my card deck because it's just a waste of space. I could have something else that I'd rather have. And, um, of course, two bosses later, I'm pretty sure, that boss was the one that I needed the five-minute bonus. 
And um, if you die to a boss, you're allowed to retry, so it doesn't instantly game over you. But you can't go back to the point before you fought the boss. It's either you fight him, you fight him with easy mode on, or you go back to the title screen. So, I went back to the title screen and lost like an hour and a half worth of gameplay, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to play tomorrow. Yeah, uh, now, is it, do you not play easy because you don't want to, or...? Uh, yeah, and like that fight was the turning point. I was just like, I'm going to play it on easy mode. And um, yeah, that, I hovered over. I hovered over it, and I'm like, "But what if there's like some random ending I don't get?" Because I know like Yoshi's. You got this far without easy mode. It's like, why not just see it through? You know. Yeah, in New Yoshi's Island. Yeah, and I'm on like the the second to last boss from what I've heard. So like New Yoshi's Island had a thing where if you, if you either if you didn't collect everything or if you just played like. Yeah, I think if you played without collecting anything on, like, an easier difficulty or whatever, you didn't get the right ending. And it's like, what? So oh, I was wow. like, what if they do that to me? So I didn't want to play on easy mode, and now I'm I'm not regretting it. It's just, I don't know. I'm only 20 hours in, and I feel like this game's going on forever, so it's not good. <laughs> it has such yeah, a good story, I... and it's it has such good gameplay. But then you hit those weird filler mini games, and it's just such a pain. Mm. Ruins everything. Yeah, I can't remember if it was um, it was Shin Megami Tensei Four. I got to the final boss, and I was playing on the game on the thing normal, and in Shin Megami Tensei Normal is essentially hard because those games are really yeah. difficult. But um, I got to the final boss, and he was just kicking my butt. And I was like, screw, it. I'm like, I hate to play on easy, but I have to because that either involves like. 10 more hours of grinding, like, you know, I've already, I'm kind of done with this game, I just want to see it through to the end, or I can just play it on easy, and, like, I don't feel as satisfied, and I don't think it, it changed the ending at all, at least I hope not, I don't believe it does, like, I think you already made your decision, it's just, you, you know, you fight the boss and get the ending, but, um, I just felt so, like, cheated, I was like, ah, oh, man, like, I, yeah. I got that far, and I, I kind of, you know, cowered out, and now I'm playing and, them easy. Like, it's, it doesn't feel as good. And the only other thing for me was that when I think easy mode in an RPG, I don't think doing more damage. I think, like, especially with Mario and Luigi, I think, like, easier active time hits, you know what I mean? You know how, like, you gotta... Yeah, like, dumber gotta, AI and... Yeah, when you gotta, like, jump, and you have to hit the A button to land to get more damage in. Mm -hmm. I think it's like that. Which I was landing all of those anyway, and I still wasn't damaging him in time to do the, you know, to beat him in the time limit. So I figured mm -hmm. it wouldn't really matter anyway. So I, I don't know. I don't yeah, know, it's, man. Uh, it's... <laughs> anyway, oh. tell us, tell us about life is strange. I want to hear. What uh, well, life is actually strange sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta yawn a lot. <laughs> Stop! You're gonna, you're literally gonna make me yawn right now. But um. Yeah, so I downloaded Life is Strange uh, probably about a month ago or a few weeks ago, and um, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about it. And, uh, you know, I figured I had a couple hours today, so I figured I'd, I'd try and play the first episode and see what it's all about. And um, I, I loved it. Um, it's it's different enough from The Walking Dead. Like, mechanically, in some of the stuff, it's still similar to, like, well, not The Walking Dead, but Telltale as a whole where uh, you make a decision and, you know, your decision will have consequences and it somehow uh, affects the plot as a whole or just somehow affects, affects a subplot or you know, something that's just to the first episode. So it's not a huge consequence. Just, you know, somebody will, will feel a different way about you or, um, you know, somebody will, will react like, differently to like certain things. Clementine will remember that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I feel like Life is Strange has a lot more subplots than, like, at least Walking Dead does. Oh, yeah, I mean, Walking Dead's pretty, pretty straightforward. You know, just survive with, you know, good characters and everything. But um, the, the main uh, catch here is that you can rewind time. Um, her, yeah, her name is Max, is the main character, and, you know, she gains the ability to rewind time, and she uses it to benefit uh, those around her. So this and, is an actual story thing? This isn't like a gameplay, like you get to rewind time, like she actually becomes a time lord and can just... Yeah. In, in a way, like, like, like for story purposes, um, 
like she gained, she has you with her in one time. And you're like, it affects her, her well being, and um, um, like it changes certain things yeah, about other, her. Other than the dialogue in this game, which like sometimes just makes me cringe, um, like <laughs> that's kind of like my other problem with it. Like, oh, you've played it? No, I've watched someone play. It. Okay, okay. Like I watched through the whole thing. Okay. So, like. If your choices are supposed to like matter, and like, like it's kind of the point of like these like adventure games, where your choices are supposed to like mm -hmm. live with the consequences, sort of thing. You, you get to see really kind of the can. outcome of your choices. And yeah, decide it's, which ones you want. It's difficult because I have I always like I mean like, it's a cool idea, but I don't think that it works for this type of game. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, I always have a I always do a poor job of making decisions. It's like choose A or choose B. I'm like. Like I'm not emotionally invested in either one, so I'm gonna pitch pick which one I feel the most strongly about. You know, pick it, and you know whatever happens happens, and you know I'm upset. Okay, it's you know it's it's what happened. Yeah. But with Life is Strange, is you know I didn't like that outcome. I'm gonna rewind time. I'm gonna go back to that. Like it's not even that like I didn't like that outcome. It's like I'm just gonna try both and see which one I like better. That's exactly what I did, and um. You know, like I was, I was satisfied. There, you know, there's a key, there are a few key decisions in uh, the first episode, but there's one in particular that stands out to me. I'm not gonna say it, but um, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied with my decision, and then I go back in time, and I'm like, you know what, you know, I, I, th I think about the reaction, and I'm like, you know what, I feel way more satisfied with that because, um, it's, it's better for Max, for my, my personal character. Um, it's more beneficial for her. Like there are certain things where, um, you know, uh, for example, you're sitting in class and you are getting lectured on uh, a French photographer and uh, some kind of innovative method he developed. And at first, you kind of go through the lecture, and then as you rewind time, you start to pick up on the name of the French photographer that you didn't know before. So you're able to answer the question, and it kind of changes the dialogue a bit. And you know, your teacher will look at you differently. Your classmates will, will view you differently. So it's not just a straight, you know, you don't know the answer. Now it's like, you don't know the answer. You can go ahead and then kind of like, in a way, absorb that information. Yeah, well, I think when they use it, still have it. And more like a, like a puzzle solving way, like how you use yeah, it to like yeah. solve puzzles. I think that's super cool. But once it gets into yeah, like the choices definitely. and then you can just pick whichever one has the so, best out, yeah. I don't like so just for me to clarify again, the the character in this game knows that she can turn back time. Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, she okay, she, just, she learned, like gains the ability and now she knows about it and um you know it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to tell some of these characters who are supposed to be your closest friends uh about these powers. You tell no one. If you ever I, get superpowers, Brett, let me tell you this. Tell no you never tell anyone. Cody, do you have superpowers? <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't answer that. I can't deny it either. Oh, like I would <laughs> No, I don't think I would Well, I mean, if I had like rewind time, I probably would tell someone then just like, Oh yeah, because I mean that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't like you. <laughs> it's like <Yeah. laughs> Alan, buddy. It's like I hate your guts. <laughs> your mother gave you a bad haircut. Yeah. Like you Whoa. can just like and then a and then and time and doesn't rewind. Rewind time and oh yeah. No, like that's what, okay. Another <laughs> thing I don't understand, like how come sometimes when you rewind time, like it leaves things in the place where it was, but then other times, like like other times, sometimes when you rewind, you stay in the same place that you were, and then other times that you rewind, you're, like, in a different place. Dude, I don't understand that makes space sense. time. That's all. Doesn't, I don't know. It's all. Does it ever explain how she gets those powers? Because I don't remember that. Yeah, well, it hasn't directly said it yet. Uh, Jason says, Cody has superpowers confirmed. Confirmed. Uh, I, um, I didn't confirm that. Confirmed. <laughs> it's not directly told, but, you know, you know I have... A specific reason why I think uh, Max has these powers now. Now, but, um, okay, um, I want to <laughs> want to sidetrack this just for a second because this randomly popped in my head, and I feel like the character got these powers, and so I have no knowledge of this game. Do you remember that Spider-Man movie? I think it was 
was it the third one where um, Venom becomes a thing? Um, mm-hmm. The sand guy. How does he get his powers? Doesn't he fall in like a pit of sand and he Sandman he falls yeah. into a um, like a like a test facility yeah. and it's like a it's like a molecule like combining thing and essentially like his you know his atoms and his body um, like gets infused with sand particles and that's <laughs> okay. how he gets his power. Okay. It's Just nothing how everything like in the Spider-Man universe happens. <laughs> she 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 walks into a like a a, a clock shop and just <laughs> watches the just clocks rewind clock. around her. Yeah. Oh my god. I what can, is happening? Yeah, I can move time. Oh god. Yeah, I think the Seven story is super cool in it. The time travel mechanic, I don't really like. I don't think that it's used in the right way. Yeah. Sometimes. Like for me, it's really difficult to. Stick with my decision, knowing that there's something else I can like, I yeah. can actively see. Like you want like the best That's... outcomes. Of I mean, yeah, I, I think that kind of makes sense if you were someone who could control time, right? Like yeah, in but real life. Yeah, but really the point of those games. Like the well, games Grant, is like, is like you're supposed to make this decision like in this moment and then but live Grant, with it. Please. <laughs> have time powers. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. You well, can... Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. Anyways, um, to to wrap it up, I. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I, I. How far are you? Uh, I, I've just beaten the first episode. Oh, I think okay. Five or six. I, I think five. Um, I'm really, I really like the character so far. Um, I don't want to binge play it. I kind of want, you know, play one episode a night or maybe one a week. That's what I did. Um, fucking did. Yeah, I, I binge play Telltale, but uh, it's really, really good. I, I recommend it if you uh, have the chance to play it. But um, actually, Jason says. Clock Spy Coldplay is conveniently playing in the clock shop. <laughs> I I can't think of that song at the top of my head how it goes, but I'll I'll Clocks. trust you, Jason. <laughs> Clocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the song. Um, anyways, I've also been playing um, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. I don't know if I've spoken about this game on the show yet. Do you know, Grant? Uh, I think you. I know you talk about some Shin Megami Tensei. But I don't know. Uh, so you can just go over it quickly if you want. Okay, actually, no, you know, I did, I did. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, yeah. But um, I've been since I've given up on Bravely Default. Um, I've gone back to uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor, and it is you know a strategy RPG, and it is really, really hard. Um, well, not really, really hard, but like it's difficult. It's hard enough. Um, is like, it anything Shimmy- like Persona One? <laughs> like, is um, it turn based? But five you. Minutes. Is it turn-based, but yet you can move your characters around in a grid? Yeah, it's it's more of a strategy RPG, if so anything. There, so there's a map, and you move them yes, around? Yes. Okay, never mind. Yeah, there's, there's like a set playing field, and um, each each character, whether demon or human, has a party, and each party has, you know, the either three demons or... Uh, your one of your characters and two other demons, and of course, in Shin Megami Tensei fashion, if you expose an enemy's weakness, you uh, can get an extra turn for the fight. Can you, and, you know, th- can you like talk to demons and stuff in that game? Uh, like, can you talk yeah. to enemies and stuff during combat? No, not like this. Okay. Not like other Shin Megami Tensei games, which I think is awesome. Yeah, it's also really annoying at times, but yeah. um, <laughs> they have. Um, I don't remember if Shin Megami Tensei 4 had an auction house, but uh, it does in this one. And basically how it goes is... Uh, uh, and, um, like other, um, like DCs, like random players, 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 players. <laughs> has a set value, and you can constantly bid up, and at some point, if the price gets high for somebody, they'll just, you know... A white flag symbol pop. They're done bidding, and then there's a chance for a final bid. So you kind of have to just guess and and hope for um, you outbidding another person or two other people and getting this demon. And then sometimes you know you might just buy that demon so you can fuse it with another demon and make a a demon you don't have yet in your uh, compendium. And it's you know it's a really cool mechanic. That's that's really how you recruit demons in this one. Um, so, demons and stuff. I don't mean to ruin this for anybody listening oh, no. on the podcast, um, but for those of you watching on YouTube, 
your voice got deeper and deeper and deeper <laughs> as you oh, went no. on. No. <laughs> like, like it, it started to cut out and it was deep. You should yawn with the deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, no. It kind of so, sounded like Chewbacca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, for YouTube oh. viewers, just know that his voice isn't always like this. No, Brett, it is. Brett's going through changes, yeah. <laughs> he he ingested helium before that, and that's just returning <laughs> Reverse to its helium. normal form. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what you're saying. <laughs> of the voice. Um, oh, God. Jason said, as soon as Brett mentioned demons, his voice sounded <laughs> demons. <laughs> Oh true. god, no! That's please. totally no. true. Please. Um, but anyways, like it's um, the story-wise, how it goes is uh, Tokyo is experiencing, or yeah, I think it's Tokyo is experiencing a blackout, and um, you know, I think it's out. It last few days, but um, the government knows that that demons are causing it, and people with these comps, which are bit, they look like DSs, um, and they, you know, that's how you can. F see demons fight demons and recruit demons and everything it's basically you know how you uh operate as a demon tamer um you start to unravel you know what's really going on and how the government potentially set this up and um you know they know about everything that's going on so hospitals are, are low on uh, medical supplies and, and people are, are rioting and everything it's like it's just it's a messed up time and um it's surprisingly uh emotional so far spoilers I'm, like, is the government demons? That would be badass. I have no <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> that's like that's like some Final Fantasy X stuff, where you find yes, out that the, the, the head people yeah, are dead Japanese all along. Behind your thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Mister uh, Mister Mike is dead. <laughs> yeah. What's? Oh, oh my spoilers. god. Spoilers. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> but um. But anyway. Yeah. The characters are. I wish they were more fleshed out. I think there's sometimes there's an opportunity to, um, you know, kind of get a back, get a little bit more of the backstory. But for the most part, it's it's very few and far between. And one of my biggest issues is, um, it has there's like a, a like a chart, and it's you know you can do battles or you can go to different areas and investigate and talk to people, and there are certain events which will uh, take up 30 minutes, and that's just, uh, you know, talking to somebody or doing a battle. And it's frustrating because certain options are there, but there are like three to four different options, like things you can do. So you can't be in all those places at once. So you choose one, and then another one will disappear. And it's like, well, mm -hmm. dang it, I wanted to see that too, but I couldn't because, you know, of course I can't be there. I can't be here, and then right away going right there because time will pass. So one of those opportunities will close. So I found myself sometimes. Saving after every single instance if there's multiple uh, people to talk to or things to do and, you know, just hope that um, nothing will disappear after I uh, start one of these events. But uh, I am, again, really enjoying this game so far. It's it's tough, but um, it's it's really good. And if you're a Shin Megami Tensei fan, uh, an RPG fan, I definitely recommend it. And I honestly don't know if I'm playing anything else. I think Smite, but... Good. Yeah, Smite. We, we talked about Smite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. More than enough. In the yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Alright. I've been playing Black Ops 3. I've talked about that too much already. Have you also... Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, so... Uh, Black Ops 3, what's it called? Ascendance DLC? Something like that? What? Awakening? Awakening? Awakening, Awakening. yeah, Awakening. Oh. Um, like you, 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 like you. What is happening? Grab my. Remix, Brett. Those on the podcast aren't going aren't gonna know what we're laughing about. Check out the YouTube. Did you hear that too? No, yeah, I totally did. Like you, like you, like you, like you. Those on YouTube are gonna get the. Anyway, go ahead. All right. Uh, Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. Uh, the maps are super cool. One of them is like, it has three biomes sort of thing. So one side of the map is like a jungle. One side of the map, or the middle of the map, is more like a like a snow area. And then the left side of the map is uh, like an urban area. Uh, so yeah, that map's pretty cool. All the maps flow pretty well. Is uh, Zombies that was... still a thing? Zombies is, but I don't really play it because no oh, one ever okay. plays it with me. Um, there you go. 
Yeah. I mean, I could probably. I mean, my my friend comes over sometimes and we'll play it. Um, but other than that, not really. Uh, and then the one that I was super excited about is Skyjacked. It's a re remade version of Hijacked from Black Ops Two, which is like uh, the boat that was out at sea. Except this time, it's like a hovercraft. So you're you're in the air above a city, and it's pretty cool. Uh, I love that map in Black Ops Two. One of my favorite Call of Duty maps. Uh, so oh, nice. Cool. That's in the game. And then what? what oh, I remember with? that one. I don't know why that was such a slow burner, but I, I remember <laughs> that map. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, I think it works well. I just feel like just because it's a little bit more fast paced than Black Ops Two was. Um, can you fall? I feel off? like you can fall off. That's amazing. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Um, but yeah, I feel like since it's more fast paced than it was in Black Ops Two. That like you just like I find myself dying really quickly just because you can get well, from point A oh. to point B faster. Um, so yeah, so spawns aren't as like strategic. That's the one thing I don't <laughs> like about Call of Duty game. Well, that's not the one thing, but it's a big thing. Is um, I feel like spawns can be too close. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you can spawn and just be next to somebody. You would hate free for all. Then. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. Yeah, I haven't played Call of Duty in a long time. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then next in playing... Well, I mean, I could talk about the other maps, but I, don't, I haven't played them. Oh, wait, no. So the other one that's pretty cool, it just looks really cool. I haven't played enough on it to like, actually know if I like it or not. But it's like a it's like a water park, and it's like super <laughs> colorful. It, it's amazing. It has, it has a giant purple octopus. It had giant red and yellow slides. It's like a pirate ship. It's really cool. Um... So yeah, that was Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. I've also started playing Madden 16. I got like three month EA access codes at PAX. Um, and then, so yeah, I used that, downloaded Madden 16, used my what, like two week Xbox Live thing. So I've been playing that. I beat Brett the other day. Humble brag. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> That's okay. You were the Buccaneers. They're pretty... So... Dude, so... Go ahead. Um... In, I'm not trying to make excuses here, but in typical Madden fashion, I think I think I was trying to throw it to uh, Austin Severian Jenkins on yep. uh, my interception at the end. Uh-huh. Um, he ran into your safety or somebody, and like he got cut off. So uh-huh. I, I got I hit A already, so he couldn't get around. Like he was just stuck there, and you know your safety jumped the route, and I was like, ah, oh, like. Man. Like it's it's an annoying issue that I've experienced so many times in madness. Like, yeah. just like it's a subtle thing. Like you know, I can get like your feet getting caught, but like, like you get run into each other and you just stop. Like it's like mm-hmm. you're not gonna like go th- like go around the player. And Imagine like, if there was no a- collision in that game and people were just like walking through each other. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh my god! Crazy. No, no <laughs> physics or anything. Yeah. It'd be nuts. <laughs> It was a good game, though. Grant beat me fair and square. Yes, and... I beat him on a two-point conversion at the end because I had to leave, so I was just like, I'm just going to go for two. Forget there overtime. I, my defense didn't do a single thing, so. Yeah. So oh, is well. that a but game was... that's already out? Yeah. yeah oh, and you can out. still play that on EA Access? Yes. Oh, see, I don't know how that works. Yeah, I think they, so they, they recently added, like, as of the last, like, two or three weeks. Yeah. So I saw some headlines, like, Madden so, 16 going to EA Access. I'm like, oh, sweet. So there are games that are already out. That if they're on that access, you can play without buying it as long as yeah. You have so EA access, it has like you can play games a couple of days early for like an hour or two. For then, there's ten hour trials because I yeah, that's how oh, I play. Oh okay. Yeah, and then there's also EA access vault, which is full full of games that they've already oh, released. Okay. Like Polar sports games, uh, Battlefield, Plants for Zombies. Yeah. Oh. So I I could feasibly play Unravel right now, which isn't out until. Yeah. I but have download, I have but there's only what is it like? A, would you say an hour or ten hour? Ten. Uh, I have ten hours of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unravels only like four. Yeah, so Unravels only like I've heard like four to six hours. So you could beat the game and yeah. you you beat it and um, it's like all right, well I don't need EA access anymore or anything yeah. like that. So I mean it's it's, it's a crazy. good deal. Um, I'm I'm probably gonna unsubscribe here in a, soon because I. Um, I already have Matt. I already bought Madden, so I don't need EA access for it. And I have digitally too, and um, I've already downloaded uh, FIFA and stuff because my brother likes to play that. So like, I don't really have a need for it anymore. 
And um, I'm going to play on Ravel, but outside of that, like, I don't I don't really need it anymore. Do they so. have any, like, Mass Effect games or anything like that? I don't believe so. At okay. least not yet. Okay. But to kind of, like, remedy that problem is the fact that Mass Effect is now, you know, available via backwards compatibility. Yeah. So, in a way, it kind of works out. I'm not wrong. EA is Mass Effect's EA, right? It's Bioware, but it's okay. Bioware, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it yeah. freaking me out for a minute. I wasn't sure. Anyway. Madden 16. I love Draft Champions. It's really cool. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, super fun. Uh, and then, of course, I've been playing Rocket League. And we've already spent 40 minutes on now playing. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brett, it's a great day. You know why? No, honestly, it's not a good Boom. day. Because it's time for the news storm. Oh. I don't want... <laughs> I have no mood to do with the news, news storm today. Maybe. Boom. Okay, because... So, two reasons it's a great day. One, Cowboys are officially 0-0. <laughs> two, mm -hmm. Rocket League is introducing Rocket Labs. Great. Sounds Game right. trailers shut down. I don't care about anything anymore. Game trailers... Let's, let's take a, a moment of silence. <sighs> Are we good? Thank you, Game Trailers. <laughs> I wanted to see how long we could keep going. <laughs> like, I, like, I did not typically want to, put, to be put in a sad mood. Like, I, I was going on Twitch, yeah. and it was like, oh, like, this is my last day of, um, uh, you know, of, of Game Trailers. I was like, what? Like, it's so sad, because I, I've only been going there for, um, a little over a year now, and, like, I just, it's become one of my favorite sites, so it's, it's upsetting to see uh, them, them going out, unfortunately. But um, you know, I, I wish the people there nothing but the best. I was fortunate enough to meet some of them at uh, PSX, and they were so friendly. And, you know, I just, I just love their their video content and their writing. They had some of my favorite uh, video game reviewers there. So I, it was, it was very sad to to hear of the news of Game Trailers depart and ultimately, ultimately closing down. But um, you know, they were. They were fantastic for so many years, and uh, I'm, I'm very glad I was able to, to watch their content. So thank you very much, Game Trailers. Well, just think, now you have more room in your heart for Dan the Man. Oh, my gosh. Right. Love right. that. Dan the Man, Staple Tan. Dan the Man, Staple Tan. <laughs> Is this right, man? All right. It's Rocket League, Rocket Labs. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, what I'm really excited for because Rocket League is getting a new playlist called Rocket Labs that lets players try out new maps that are like different than just the normal arenas. The first three maps available in the playlist will feature wildly different layouts from what has been seen in the past. So Wacky. the one, yeah. So the three ones, <laughs> it's funky as Kevin would say. Oh yeah. Um, so they've got uh, three maps that they're gonna have on there when the February update comes. Um. So, so wait, first how, one. Okay, go ahead. This no, might you, you answer. Go ahead. No, this might answer oh, my question. So first one, it's a, like a circular map. So it's at one end. <laughs> Aren't of the they circle. all? Well, no, that's like it's <laughs> like a rectangle. circular map is where. It, so there's like a core in the middle. Okay. You have to drive around it, and then then on like on one end, there's one team's goal, and then on the other end of the circle, there's the other team's goal, and then. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, then, the next one has like elevated sides on <clears throat> has elevated sides. So instead of like they added one called um what is what is it called? I remember. But it has it's like a curved side, but this one there's actually like a raise so you can like jump up there and then jump off. Mm -hmm. Uh and then there is double goal, which I thought actually kinda looked Wait, kinda weird. So each team has two entrances to the goals. Oh okay. Yeah, so it's like split by like a pillar, and then you can score on either side. But so you, they, and you drive through it. So they added slopes. Yes. Obstacles in the middle of the map. No. Well, an obstacle in the middle of the map. Like a, yeah. you have to like go around it. Yeah, it's like the map and itself. The, yeah, and then uh, double goal. Yes. <laughs> Grant, I'm not very impressed. <laughs> Dude, no, you could play hockey too. Oh, it's called Wasteland. That's the map I was thinking of with the curved edges. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, that's can you still effect. ride on the ceiling and whatnot? You can't ride on the ceiling. You can ride on the walls. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, you can. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Huh. You guys don't want to talk about Rocket League, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'll be honest. I was not paying attention to a single thing. <laughs> That's okay. I so, kind of zoned out when Cody was talking about what game. I don't even remember. I was, yeah. that's, that's fair. I Something about obstacle courses and two ways to score now. Rocket League. Red Dead Redemption has backwards compatibility. Boom. Oh, this is awesome. Not well, anymore. It did, yeah. it did, but now they removed it. Short-lived. Microsoft's yeah. on you little kids. Rip Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Let's take a moment of silence for Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> That doesn't really get me into there. <laughs> but um, so apparently it was, I guess initially it leaked, and then um, if you owned a a digital copy of it, well, you could you could have feasibly played it when the time was ready, but um, Polygon found a uh, a good way to go about this where I believe. You go into your friends list and you look at their achievements and everything, and eventually you find a way to um, yeah, get to like the I game purchase friend. page, right there, yeah. the game, and then you can pull up the game download purchase page, and that's how you get it on. Oh, excuse me, on your Xbox One because it is officially, uh, you know, not on Xbox One yet via backwards compatibility. So, uh, for a brief moment, there was like a uh, a little secret way to get on it. Uh, Colin asks, wait, oh, Colin says, wait, they took it off, and yeah, they took it off. It seems like that's the case right now. They did take it off. They said it was a mistake and that it shouldn't have been available. They quote okay. error. <laughs> well, aren't the servers um, down for that game, or am I wrong? Probably. I don't know, actually. I feel like the servers I, are down. I, have, yeah, I, I hope know. not. That game was amazing. Multiplayer. Yeah, I, I remember multiplayer was very popular. Yeah, but it'll be coming soon enough, and I'm gonna have to play through it because I never beat it to completion. I wish I you the played, best. The game's I like I, three thousand hours long. That's okay. I can do it. It's quite a hefty game, but I, I was <laughs> I can put three thousand hours into Smite. I could put three thousand hours into. I it haven't game. yet, but I probably will. <laughs> so you're well on your way. Yeah, you'll be a lot happier playing Red Dead than I am Smite. So. <laughs> All right. We're just flying through the new storm because we spend so much time on not playing. In the future, let's shorten that to like under like 25 minutes. It's not gonna no happen. Promises you, there. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> no promises. Brett, no, I like how Brett's like, okay, I'll just go through this one quickly, and then he spent like 10 <laughs> minutes talking about Shin Megami Tensei. They are making a remake, incoming HD remake. No, says Colin. Nah, nah. 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 Titanfall 2 has a single player campaign and a TV spinoff. Boom. Help. A single player campaign? What's that? <laughs> uh, okay, so in an interview with lead writer Jesse Stern to Forbes. He's my neighbor, actually. Jesse Stern. No, he's not. <laughs> says the game will have a single player Ooh. campaign. Uh, and a TV <laughs> spinoff show is in the works at Lion Gate. What? What? <laughs> go ahead. What happened? No, go ahead. Cody left in the back. <laughs> Why is Cody laughing? I was, I was, like, I was like half, I was half like what groaning and half laughing. Why? Brett's just despicable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so... What did he do? Nothing. Continue. Was it on the? Uh, I'll have to watch the video. Okay. Is it because I said he's my neighbor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even follow through. You're, you're, he's like, he's not your neighbor. Like, no, he's not. <laughs> like, what was the point? Like, he, oh, he, he runs the local the bank. Podcast bank. interesting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so Respawn Entertainment began development on Titanfall 2 in late 2014, but he isn't sure if the game will launch this year or next year, or later this year or early next year. So, uh, wasn't yeah. it the new Call of Duty that got rid of the campaign? Or was that just for PS3? And... Yeah, it's just last gen. Oh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Colin says, we got a dead boy. Did we really need that? No, we didn't. Right. Next question. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, players I, were mad that they didn't have a single player. I'm yeah. glad that they're having one now. So, yeah. Plus, the multiplayer was pretty thin, too. I feel like it was really hard to get into that game because it didn't have a single player. Like, they give you this weird tutorial in the beginning, and they're like, have yeah. fun. And I'm like, oh. 
Like, I don't... Yeah, and then another well, thing, like, I feel like they gave the player too much power. Like, I get trying to get everyone, like, in on the fun. Like, in, in Call of Duty, like, if you're not very good, then there's no chance that you're going to get yeah. the crazy score streaks. But, like, they give it, like, the biggest thing that they have in the game to you way too often to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't, like, feel rewarded in any way, really. <laughs> Imagine it was just Titan falling. You saw Titan, like, once a match. <laughs> oh, Billy got a Titan! <laughs> jealous. There's just an announcer just screams, Titan! That's where Zombies 2 has a Titan. Does it really? There's like a little imp character, and then if you stay alive long enough, then your ability charges, so you can drop down like a tank on top of you, and you can walk Do around. you pay money for like booster pack cards that give you... I, like... I sure hope so. <laughs> anyway. Kyle says, uh... Who is even playing Titanfall anymore? And Jason says, I bought it and never played it. And then Colin says, uh, yeah, so I got a ranked playlist. It I was, bought it. It was like $3 for everything, and I got it. And I'm like, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that was a hell of a deal. I yeah, bought it for like I, 50 I bucks, and the play, DLC was free. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I didn't play much of it at all, because it was towards the later uh, end, of, end of the game's life. My, that game was so fun. Yeah, I played like, a, lot, I, a lot of it when it first came out, but then like you realize that like the weapons don't have any depth to them. There's like barely any of them. If, I, if Titanfall Two could have like a like a Killzone esque campaign, oh my God. I'd be content with like. I love no? Killzone. I It'll hate Killzone like, campaigns. Really? Yeah, it's just Shout so out to run the first and half of the Killzone it, Shadowfall it's, campaign. It's, it feels like God of War if if God of War the campaigns half weren't terrible. good. Yeah. The first half was great. Anyway, I, don't know, I, I just I, I enjoy the the uh, kill zone campaigns. Like they're just just fun to turn your brain off, and they're like, oh, like you gotta stop the bad guys, and like that was it. Like Shout it wasn't like, anything crazy. Extremely underrated multiplayer. I didn't play it. There you go. I played I played the first mission for ten minutes. And I traded in. It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> my kill zone story. <laughs> <laughs> Uncharted 4 PS4 bundle has been announced, and it comes in a new yeah. color. Man, I have something to tell you. What? I kind of want to, but don't want to loop back to the now playing section. Mm -hmm. So, Go this on. weekend, I beat Uncharted 1 for the first time in a ah. few years. It is still the best in the series. So why don't they bundle Uncharted right. 1, then? Leave. I know, right? Like it's, it's the clearly superior Uncharted. Yeah, I mean they've already made it, so I mean it's clearly the greatest Uncharted. So yeah, like in all seriousness, though, like it didn't have the best pacing. Yeah. yeah. But honestly, I still had so much fun with it. Like I but have you know, played through two and three again? Not yet. I I would like to before Fire Emblem Fates is out, but um. Do it right now. I I can't. I'm doing a podcast. Uh, Michael says hello. <laughs> hello, Michael. You're so fine. Doing a podcast. And um, I don't know I I'm looking to be like potentially two or three games within the next two weeks uh, to clear out my backlog of it before um, Fire Emblem is out. So we'll see. Mike joined just to say that you're wrong, Brent. You're wrong. <laughs> it's not the greatest of charge at all, Michael. You don't even like Taylor Swift, so... Oh, okay. shots fired. All right, let's just end this it before rushed. it gets ugly. Dude, I was at my friend's house the other day, and then, like, that time when Cam Newton fell on the ground after the Broncos scored a touchdown, he, he was like, when you mess up your recipe and make your Fig Newtons too salty. <laughs> nice. Was nice. Roast. I don't even get it. That's fine. You should. That's all we have for news? Well, I mean, there was more, but I took it out because we were oh. running away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, no, we haven't talked about this bundle. I have had a good look. At, oh. I'm sorry. Good look at this uh, PS4 bundle. So it. It's it. like bluish. I'm gonna look at it. If it starts up a video, oh, it's GameSpot. It's totally gonna start up a video. But yeah, oh, it's, God. It's, uh, it's four hundred dollars. It comes with a gray blue image of Series <laughs> Zero. <laughs> that looks Nathan so Drake. gross. On the console. And His shirt cool looks guy. like there's a, a face in it. Do you see that? It does. Do you oh, see the like eye on the top it's left? Yeah. Holy. Drake's gonna die, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> wow. Rip, let's let's take a moment of silence for for Nathan Drake. So. <laughs> no, come on. No. Oh man. Donald says the best uncharted is Paper Mario. Okay. And then what? Michael says, wait, did you say I don't like Schindler's List? 
I didn't hear you. I was well. <laughs> You're close, Michael. You're close. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, Al. Dude. We're looking for Taylor Swift, not Schindler's Michael, List. you hate Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> what an insult. Close, <laughs> close though. Yeah. Close. Uh, anyway. You were close. <laughs> I'll be props, but... Okay. Let, let's move on to uh, what, are oh. what are the odds. Just a minute. What are the odds? What are the odds NX outsells Wii U in one year? Um, two. I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, because it depends on the launch lineup and it depends on what the system actually is. But Just if it question. is received well, then I would say it's very likely. What do you yeah. mean outsells the Wii U? Like, Wii U total numbers and then NX? The total numbers year? that Wii U has when the NX launches, the NX will outsell that in one calendar year. Oh my god, what are they going to do, but like... Super Mario RPG on it? Like, they all, Wii U's only sold like 8 million units. You've only Listen, sold 8 million units. Fam, it's like 13 oh, no. million now. You know yeah. how much the Ouya 2 has sold? I don't They'd be care. lucky if That's they sold 18,000. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we looked up the sales numbers. Uh, yeah, and it, was, it was funny. I had a hard time finding them. I can't blame them for not wanting to talk about it, but... Uh, no, I would say that it probably won't in one year. What are the odds a Lego Game of Thrones game <laughs> is announced before anything's 2017? possible? With with anything. Lego, anything's I, possible. I doubt it. Lego and Telltale are so are are sorry, TT Games and not Telltale are so similar these days. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if a Game of Thrones game, uh, I'd be very surprised. game was announced. I'd be very surprised. I'm not banking on it, but uh, if it happens, like okay, you know it's okay. I give it a uh, a ten percent chance. I give it six jocks out of thirteen kickballs. Kickball. Our new yes, our new game bolt review scale. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. What are the odds? At least four people. Oh wait, no, I skipped that. What are the odds? Telltale makes a new engine before summer 2017. No, all of their games are gonna look really weird, like they have been. And they they're gonna perform like crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but tell, I I like Telltale. <laughs> the games perform so poorly. It's so, it's so frustrating. Yeah. Um, like, it, it needs a overhaul, an overhaul. So yeah, but I doubt it'll happen before then. No, yeah, they're they're gonna ride like, off. I remember I got to episode four of The Walking Dead season one, and there's a certain point where a zombie's supposed to come out. The zombie that came out for me was invisible. So I couldn't get past the instance. That's scary. I, uh, I think this has a three potato chip over two bottle cap odds of happening. Grant, that is less likely than six Cowboy Bebops lassoing 14 Donald Trumps in a shark tank. Yeah, but it's more than raising two British flags on a Sunday in Australia. Listen, you're really pushing it now. <laughs> uh, you're telling me... That raising two British flags on a Sunday in Australia is more likely than 17 Dairy Queens blowing up in Antarctica on October 17th, 2018, because Mel Gibson released his newest movie? Die Hard yes. 20? Die Hard 20. Yes. Uh, oh, sorry, Brad. I got, I got a review scale next time, you know. Just had to, yeah, I mean, come on, dude. Just to confirm. So, Aaron's power over here. The editor-in-chief, you know, I just... Get, get caught, Gotta get caught up. program, fam. <laughs> what are the odds at least four people at 10 Pack South 2017 are representing the Game Bowl? Very, very odd. Um, I don't know. At least four people? Oh, uh, okay. Your, your cursor oh, thing oh, may look that, like a P. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's my all cursor all was not. over the O, so it looked like a yeah. Uh, so, at least four people attend PAX South. I don't even live within range of PAX East. I do, yeah, but it's like seven hours. I'm on. I mean, yeah, it's really, you could just drive down. <laughs> yeah, no, don't walk. worry about it. I could just Ride drive. your bike. Get some exercise. <laughs> what? Who do you think you are, Grant? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Who do you think you Work are? Work off that lobster gumbo. <clears throat> so, but, uh, John asks... What are the odds that another gaming media site shuts down this year? Hashtag uh, rest in peace game trailers. 
I would give it a, you know, I mean, if it's... You never know these days. What is today? Monday? So that means, um, if I throw this dart at my dartboard... I want and I a get name a, drop, a, an 80, And then this popsicle, you know, jumps out the window. Um, I think that, um, it'd be pretty funky, funky fresh. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Want a name drop? Go ahead. No, I'm good. I like okay. these. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> Answers. Living conversation. I know. People are. So what the hell okay, is this last John, one? This has nothing to do with anything. Look, I'm just trying to introduce some football. <laughs> Go for it. As Go if for we it. haven't talked about that for a majority okay, of this podcast. Okay. Go for it. Do it. Go for it. Get it. No, it's gone now. <laughs> what are the odds that Peyton Manning retires? 100%. He won his 200th game. He won his second Super Bowl. Yeah, he came right. out on top. He's retiring. Hall of Fame. Get out of the swamp that is the NFL. Uh, I know. Never, please. He's going to be a rugby player. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. well, no, John, back to your question. I think that the odds are actually pretty good that one more shows now. At the I, rate that they're going. Joyce IGN, you year. watch. IGN. Oh you heard it here first. IGN will shut down next month. Dude, what if I'm right? Like, what if I'm just that jokingly be, right? That would be knocking futz. Stop what? yourself. I'm not going to say it the other way around. So yeah, I, I, I put, I put, I put the puzzle together. That was also yeah. not the name drop that I wanted to drop. But <laughs> well, I figured that was funny. Please, please just drop it. Drop it. I, dro- I can't find it. I dropped it. Oh no! How wait? Is it is it like a, a thumbtack? Is or it a, a fun cast? No, sorry, a, a thumbtack or is it like the size of a pin? A tic tac? Batty white. Is it the size of a pin? Carfax? Give the Jesus dog a bone. Christmas. <laughs> done. I'm done here. I'm I'm, I'm a calling it. Guys, this is a great episode. Thanks. Dude, I'm so tired. I, uh... Shout out to to all the people who made this happen. <laughs> like. uh... <laughs> Who made this Nathan happen? Drake, Babe Ruth, um, George Washington for freedom, Henry um, Ford for glory, for uh, Michael Mead's cat. Uh, shout Which out! One? Oh, let, let's take a moment of silence for the death of Michael Mead's cat. No, did that actually what? happen? One of them. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Oh, I was no. trying to pay pay my respects. This was a curveball I was not expecting. <laughs> on my side, on my couch, I've given up at this point. Oh wait, no, he didn't die. He just had to get oh, away. No, he didn't die, dude. <laughs> How do I not know this? Did he? Oh, he. Oh my, no, he didn't die. No, he didn't die. He had issues though, so they unfortunately had to give the cat away. Yes, yes, yes. That is so. I mean, honestly, that. Oh, God. sorry, dude. I got confused. It was a. It was a. <laughs> Why did we bring this up? No, that's I a, thought. I thought it was a. a uh... <laughs> <laughs> Brett, it's okay. They kept Vader. <laughs> yeah, they did. Vader's nice. The cat Brett. was killed with a curveball. Oh, oh my like gosh! A rip a curveball. From Babe Ruth. He's and this train wreck. Yeah, I have a feeling Mike's not going to be happy with, I'm sorry, Mike. with us after this one, so let's just... I apologize. I'll this. edit out the cat. Thank you. <laughs> I'll edit out the cat. You'll forget all about it. <laughs> yeah, after we already said the <laughs> Schindler's List. It never happened. Anyway. Oh, wait, wait, Brett. Use your uh, time travel thing and then rewind so that never if happened. I powers, I would. What? That's exactly what someone who had those powers would say. Yeah, Our iTunes Matt. listeners couldn't care less about this right now. Uh, that was a very <laughs> special episode of the Gamble Podcast. Uh, you probably won't ever hear us again because we probably yeah. turned this off half an hour ago. No, um, Mike is going to... Oh, find me Mike is Twitter. leaving. That's fine. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, no. I'm, I'm screwed. Guys, what did he say? I'm not going back. <laughs> I can't. I can go back home, just to end it. <laughs> just, just. Um, yeah. Uh, I, you can find me at Grant from Three. This is the official podcast of thegamble. dot com. You know, ask, uh, tweet us topics. At White Dog Fader. See you later, guys. You can find Brett at Brett Woman C W O O D M A N S E E. Um, yeah.
It's all we got. This is Gable. Uh, really uh, check out the else. site for our Reason stuff, our uh, Final Fantasy Explorers review, our The, the Witness. Witness review, Cobalt. Uh, Cobalt review. Five reasons have... why you wouldn't want to live in Skyrim. Yes, our most anticipated games of 2016. Cancellations and delays the hedge of what? <laughs> and coming soon, we will have um, our Firewatch and uh, Unravel reviews. Yeah. Check so. out uh, me and John's uh, Inner Space and Lightfall articles. Oh, that's right. That's right. Pack South stuff. Shout out Lightfall and Inner Space. And again, this posts to iTunes every Tuesday and YouTube every Wednesday. That it does. And if you would like to hear another one of these train wrecks, um, we stream them on Monday. <laughs> on Monday night. And then Cody probably is going to add a Smash Bros. tournament, you know, every Friday. I've made terrible mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's all we got for this week. Uh, yeah, okay. Please See. understand. Please. <laughs> Please. I want to edit uh, that. Jason, edit it in.